Ladies and gentlemen, I am Zasran, and this is V2000. It is a rare game, it is a broken game, but it has some really neat ideas, and is also absolutely rubbish. But don't let, don't take my word for it. Let me show you what I mean. We'll be quiet and peaceful until the meteor escape. Blew up the moon. Alien creature following the thousands. Leveling to the world. Between the worlds through the hive. Spreading disease and destruction. Attack our villages. Slaughter our people. All the time spreading the lethal virus. So, yeah, that's more or less the title of the game. Virus 2000. That's the neat idea is that you travel between worlds to do different objectives and try to prevent the virus from spreading and. Oh yeah, those dragon things. Oh, I hate those. We have been completely over the bay. And each level is basically a self sustained globe with a puzzle that has to be solved. And each level can be travelled through back and forth. Yeah, it's got a bit confusing. Also, one of the issues is that the camera can't be turned. Left and right is for um, moving the vehicle, and there. Right and up and down is for aiming. The idea is to, if too many people die, you lose. Yes. can also sort of fly, but if you cannot sidestep, you can only go back and forth and turn, and twist and turn. I know you really don't have to save all the people, at least not in this level, you just need enough to manufacture it. So you can get a first weapon upgrade. Also, here is an interesting thing. You see this weight? Makes me heavier, which means I can then go underwater. Oh yeah, 
and different worlds have different power-ups. completely forgotten where it is, but it is here somewhere. There is a secret exit. You just have to pop the cork and drain half the ocean. So far as the infection spreads, it really depends on certain size. But you can replay the world anytime. You can also gain extra lives. So I uh, did that. Well, this world has been saved. Of course, at any point I can just restart the world. And also a way to save actual lives. That is besides the point. Uh, I'm looking for something here. Should be fairly obvious. All the true bullshit if I have completed some of the levels, but it gets really hard. Stupidly so. Oh, shut up, you British git. Yes, hello, cat. Fuck you, you are. Uh, you are messing up my recording. Mm. No, 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 there is... No, that is the main exit. Oh, uh, no. That ain't what I'm looking for. Right, over here, is it? Nope. Why well, can't it move? I can see. Can apparently zoom in the camera. No, they can't turn it. Ah, oh, got dang it. I've forgotten where. Uh, a cork is. Targeting reticule. Knew there was something I needed to pick up here. Fine, since I can't find a cork, I need to shoot. I'll just drop this here. Oh, there are two exits of this in this world. Ah, 
here it is a timer because there is a what well because uh, this trophy I'm not entirely sure why you want those uh, aside from extra lives also emulates absolutely rubbish. Ah, stop being also yeah you are also stuck in things and you bounce around have paper arm tissue armor paper tissue tell you and in the beginning you have no extra lives a PC version of this as well but good luck in making uh, having that make any sense or other um, because you can't save on that one trust me I tried it deletes your save when you once you quit the game anyway it's time to get his uh, Factory going. Basically, I can say that there was a lot of good ideas uh, put into this. Execution is just unfortunately very, very flawed. turn in three people and then they turn into scientist
And yeah, there's a plasma red. Good. Good. No, that's a question though. Is there a weight on this world? Yes, there is. So now I can return to this world whenever I want. I want more red laser ammo. Right, and when you close the power up, you hear this very annoying sound. Annoying sound. I'm trying to find a trophy here. Mm, never mind. It doesn't help that this um, craft is stupidly fast. Between hover mode and flying mode. Oh well. So yeah, it's really hard to lose. In that case, we just hit start and retry. Ah, poof, it works. Entering castle world. Yes, 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 come on. Uh, it's strange, and there's not a stop button. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, the hive is invulnerable until certain criteria has been met. Also made more modern controls in this, you know. It would have made things so much more simple. But nope. The hive is no vulnerable. So yeah, well anyway, the objective is usually just destroy the hive. Oh yeah, I did imagine that it is dangerous to knock into things. Rather annoying, if you ask me. So, yeah. I to go to the factory. Oh yeah, I can also, you know, pick up like the, this one. Yeah, and sure, why not? Uh, come on, give it, get out of here, you fool! A little bit of a strategic element to this all. Well, uh, this thing apparently goes around cleaning up uh, corruption. Well, yeah, like I said, there's a lot of clever ideas. Well, execution is just. Very, very flawed. Well, you know, at some point you get homing missiles. That is slower than your craft. The only reason I know anything about this is because there was a demo disc that came, what was it called now? Oh, right. Euro demo or something in a PlayStation magazine, I believe. Oh, and yes, uh, since this was made by English company, all of the people screaming help don't like Englishmen. Go figure that one out. Ah, it's even a water splash effect. Never mind, 
give me the good stuff. Oh, grenades. Look, I need two more people then. Okay. Fine. Hello, my little slaves. Grenades are kind of important because they're going to blow it. Cost a me to read. Anyway, there's the goofy here. <laughs> Doesn't help that this thing has momentum from hell and back. Uh, Game it. There we go. Come on, come on. There we go. Going for the landing. No, 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 no. I go. I don't know who designed these controls, but it was a fucking asshole. Come on, you fool. Go in. Work fast, little man. Work fast. There, no way, Lord is watching. There we go, I now have a card of capacity of five. Much better. I know I'm going to do something stupidly dangerous. I have grenades. More juice than I anticipated. Whatever. No, 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 no. Dang it. Fine. Fine. I'm fully aware. Yes. Yes. Gotta be careful. Yes. Yeah, um, like for example, I only need so many reminders that I am about to die. Anyways, so my point is, worlds also have the hidden medals, medallions, trophies. Ah, trophies it's called. And in here is one such trophy. Is a trophy to find in every world. Uh, 
Aha, I very much I found the trophies. GG. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, you will also notice that every world is round. And that there is always more than one exit. So you have the hive destroyed, then you have this other hidden, bit more hidden hive. Let's see, is this one of those bullcrap worlds or not? Alright, Alpine world. Right, Urgh, come on, come on. Still fairly basic. Only a lot of vegetation. At least I'm not at a point where I have to, you know, mind control enemies to drown in drown them. Oh yes. That's the thing in one level, is the... In another one you have to like bowl... Uh... Okay, so sequence here is simple. like no stop a button here so
Okay, that's better. At least the people are marginally safer. Probably the smartest way to do it, but whatever. He's dead. Yes, there's a power up here. Did you probably notice that, eh? So much for that trophy, eh? Me and you. I'm gonna drop off in those people. controls and yeah anyways that's the veto version and that's all the reason why you shouldn't play it what if you're a real diehard playstation fanatic you should and if you want to retro challenge you definitely should but i would not recommend it like follow and subscribe also you do this at your own risk <laughs>